So uh, I'm posting this video because I saw a thing on Facebook today said something along the lines of uh, you can tear a woman down temporarily, but a real woman will rebuild herself and come back stronger than ever. And uh, it's a part of this whole positive thinking sort of line of bullshit that I see online. And uh, I could probably make several different videos about lots of different aspects of that, but I want to address this in particular today because it's what came up and it's really frustrating. It's this idea that somehow, if you're crushed, if you're destroyed, if something really awful happens to you and you're unable to bounce back from it, that it's not that you're crushed from the outside, it's that you're weak, it's that you're pathetic, you're not real, right? Because real women, real women, of course, can bounce back from anything. That's bullshit. You don't have a choice here. It's not as if somebody's sitting around here, oh man, I really would like to work harder, but you know, I'm destroyed. I'm choosing to be destroyed. The fact is that if you are destroyed, you're destroyed by the outside. It's not, that's the problem. That's the issue. If you're able to come back, then you're able to come back because you weren't completely destroyed. If you end up institutionalized, if you end up completely wrecked, it's not that you were saying around like, you know, well, I'd really like to come back and have a life and have a family. I'd really like that, but fuck that. I'm going to sit here in the institution and be a vegetable. That's not what's going on. And it's frustrating. It's frustrating to have people act all high and mighty because they were able to get over things in their lives that people get over all the time. People are able to get over the fact that they got diseases all the time. That's what you do. You keep moving on because what other choice do you have? Unless, of course, you are absolutely destroyed. Unless, of course, you die. Unless, of course, things become so overwhelming that you can't possibly imagine any way out other than suicide. Unless you're institutionalized. Unless your family ends up taking care of you because you can no longer care for yourself because you truly are wrecked. But you're not better than those people that didn't get truly wrecked. It's like me coming along and saying like, oh, you were you were hurt temporarily? Fuck that. I never get hurt because you think you're strong. I'm really strong. I'm really strong because unlike you, I never even temporarily got taken down. I always was like, ha ha, I'm on top of the world. Nothing can hurt me. But of course, I haven't been in your shoes. I don't know what your circumstances are. I don't know how hard things are for you. I don't have any idea what your life is like. I don't know what your suffering is like. Suffering is subjective. It's on the inside. And this idea that somehow you know what other people are going through and you can judge them from the outside like that and say, you know what, really, really, you should have been able to recover from that no problem because I did because I'm awesome. And I'm a real woman. I'm a real person. And all of you fake people out there will never know what it's like because you didn't really recover. Fuck that. If I, if it's inappropriate for me to come along and say the fact that you felt any pain at all, the fact that you ever had any sort of doubt, the fact that you for a moment staggered, that makes you weak and I am superior. I am far better than you because I have never felt the weight, the crushing weight of the world on my shoulders. I have done nothing but feel powerful and strong and nothing has ever stopped me. If that's bullshit for me to say, then it's bullshit for you to talk about real women always rebuild themselves or real people in general. Stop blaming the victim. Stop blaming people who were unable to overcome things because things were too hard on the outside because things pushed them down. You're not better than them. Fuck you.